November 3rd through to the 9th. I'm going to be using the Healing with the Angels cards by Doreen Virtue this week. So let's see first of all what they have to say for Monday and Tuesday. Alright, so here we go, pulling the card here. Alright, this is a good one, Truth and Integrity. Now, the angels are saying immediately to me that it's very important that we continue to really listen to our hearts and do what we feel is right for us. Everyone's truth is very different. Now, of course, there are certain things that are generally true in life, but our truth, our own authenticity is always different. Oh, <laughs> Ticker just came up, my cat just decided that that was a point to be made. Our truth is only within us. Nobody can tell us what to do in our lives because nobody is truly living our lives. As long as you can say in your heart of hearts that you're being true to yourself and following your own dreams and passions, then honestly, you will be happy. Of course, there are going to be people that disagree with us. There are always that. In fact, I always remember one of my teachers saying that even Mother Teresa and the Dalai Lama always have people that disagree with them, that don't believe in them. And that's okay. We're not supposed to do what everyone else is doing. Our dreams and passions are ours for a reason because we're all here for a unique purpose. So remember that in the next couple of days. Honestly, just spend some time really centering yourself in your own truth so that it then becomes what is flowing out of you. Because honestly, I can say to you that, especially in the last few days, I've really been shown that the only thing that we can really control is how truthful we are with ourselves and with others. You know, everyone else or situations we may not be able to do much about always, but we can know, we can know that when we live truthful lives, everything else flows and that everyone has their, you know, opinions about things and that's okay, that's the human essence of of life if you like but our integrity really means knowing that we can go to sleep at night knowing that we have done the best that we can to walk our talk and that doesn't mean being perfect human beings either in fact most of you uh, who read my blog last week will know that it certainly doesn't mean having everything figured out it doesn't always mean that things work out as we would like them to but actually if we stay in our truth and know what's what is actually really important to us, which usually comes back to the, the simplest things in life, then that's all we can do. So really they're, they're going on about this message and they're really wanting us to know that everything is working out as long as we can stay in our truth. And here we go for Wednesday and Thursday. Oh, I nearly dropped the computer there. Here we go. So that is exactly the same message, really. Power. Lots of people don't see power as, as truth, but it, it really is because our true power is love. Our true power is that place in us that is shiny and connected to the divine always. Oh, I do love how Tigger is part of this reading. Um, she, you know, she always reminds me that... Uh, again, she just kind of does what she wants to do. She's unconditionally loving, but she is unapologetic about, you know, deciding when she wants food or when she wants to sleep and she takes plenty of rest. Really, our power is remembering that we are creators of our lives as much as we can our co-creators of our lives and that we can feel empowered by making choices that are right for us. We feel disempowered when we start to believe that there are things to blame, people to blame, that life is against us. Life is never against us. God and the angels are never against us. Even when things are challenging, we all have human lessons and things to learn. But taking back our power, remembering that we have choices about things every step of the way and to remember love as much as we can. So remember that, especially because the beginning of the week reminds us about our truth. Really, it's, it's following on from that message, remembering that as we're in our truth, we shine most brightly. 
Okay, here we go. Ooh, I love this card. <laughs> New love. And in fact, I don't know, but I believe that the last time, several weeks ago, when I uh, used this deck, this came up again. And so I'm really paying attention to this, mainly because we're just talking about love. And actually, this doesn't have to be romance, although I do have to say that I'm getting a distinct feeling that the weekend especially is really good to either ignite the love and the passion within your existing relationship to really make it a priority or to just really keep your eyes and your heart open to the new experiences and the new people that you meet. The angels are saying again, going back into the, the rest of the week's messages, that if we are in our truth and we shine as brightly as we can, then we are always going to attract the people and relationships that are best for us. There isn't the other way around. It's not a case of, oh, you know, when I'm when I'm in a relationship, I'll be happy, or that person will complete me. Complete me. No, no, no. The movies have it wrong, don't they? The fairy tale, of course, does exist, but the fairy tale is really about us being uh, who we truly are and knowing that we deserve the love reflected back in our relationships and that for those of you who are single this is a great time to let yourself be seen let yourself be truthful perhaps if there's somebody they're saying particularly if there's somebody that you really need to be truthful with about your feelings about how you feel lots of people tell me that they're afraid of really letting people know that they love them or that they care for them in a deeper way than they realize but actually you know there's no greater gift than letting someone know that you love them that you care for them it's actually worth the risk, isn't it? Because even if they don't feel the same, it may be the best thing that you've ever done. And even if they don't feel the same as you, it's a heart opening experience to express your love. So don't shy away from love this weekend. Let yourself be seen and heard. Let your heart be open to all of the new love in your life, whether or not you're in a relationship. The angels love love. They want you to be happy and supported in your relationships but of course we must support and be happy ourselves so that the greatest kind of relationship can emerge for us so please believe in that kind of love for yourself and if you would like to um have that in a in a relationship that you've been in for a while perhaps it's time that you just allow it to be a priority in your life sometimes we're so busy that we can kind of forget what's truly important. So love up the people in your life this weekend especially and know that it really starts from within. So if you can see that love within yourself, you can see it and feel it within everyone else too. I'm sending you lots of love. I'm really excited for this week. It feels like a very empowering, loving week, a time when we really get to express ourselves in all kinds of different ways. Just allow yourself to be who you are because honestly, that's the only thing that we can be. We're meant to be who we are. We're not supposed to be a watered down version of ourselves or in fact, anyone else. So don't go wishing for anyone else's life or anyone else's relationships the relationships and the love that you're supposed to experience is, experience are for you and only you and let yourself really go into what it would be like for you what qualities would you like to experience within yourself and within another what kind of ways can you express your truth this week that will help you move forward in your life and create more peace and happiness for you and others around you I'm sending you so much love. If you want to connect with me, of course you can do on my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Anna Taylor Music Angel or through my website, anna-taylor.co.uk. Much love to you. Bye-bye for now.